Hey everyone, it's Tuesday. I'm like really happy right now. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I've never been so happy before in my life. <laughs> Are you happy because you finally got home from a really long vacation? Nope. Are you happy because you finally learned how to play Bohemian Rhapsody on Sparky? Yes and no. By the way, this is Sparky. He's my second child. Yeah, Sparky. My electric guitar. He's a Thunder. Thunder. Squire. Really good, cool guitar. I got it for my birthday. But yes, I'm really happy that I could play Bohemian Rhapsody, but that's not the reason why I'm super, super, super happy. Are you really happy because you're going to the high school next year and you're glad to get the hell out of middle school? Uh, yes and no. Well, what do you mean, yes and no? Well, I'm like really happy because I finished writing my musical. I am like thrilled. It took like 150 pages for me to write. And it took me. Time-wise, it took me like from November of 2011, which has been about, hmm, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. It took me about eight months to write this musical. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of long, but writing a 150-page musical in like eight months, I guess you can say it's kind of good. Yay! You're writing a musical. I never knew you were writing a musical. Surprise! I didn't want to post this video or tell anyone on the internet about my musical until I was like completely done with it. Well, with the writing part anyways, I'm done. So, I'm just like thrilled that I got it done. Well, what's your musical called? My musical is called My Tap Dancing Pants. And yes, I said Tap Dancing Pants. It's such an amazing thing. Why is it called My Tap Dancing Pants? It's called My Tap Dancing Pants because it's like a joke and it just sounds like a musical name. It actually sounds like a Starkid musical name and I really want Team Starkid to put on this musical because it's such a Starkid musical. I wrote it so it could be for Team Star Kid because I wanted her to show him how much I'm a fan of Team Star Kid because I just, I love him so much since, uh, since a very party musical went on I kind of found out by my cousins because they went to the University of Michigan which is where Team Star Kid's from. And they told me about Team Star Kid and how it was invented and since it was Harry Potter at the time, I was like, oh my god. So I went to check it out on YouTube and I fell in love with Team Star Kid ever since. So what's my tap dancing pants about? Well, my tap dancing pants, see, it's about a group of nerds, I guess you can say, like, group of girls sort of trying to survive middle school. And that's why I kind of said yes and no because I am excited about going to the high school next year and I'm glad to get the hell out of music. Middle school is chaos. I mean, I mean, <sighs> I mean middle school is awesome, don't get me wrong, but there's so much drama involved. I mean like there is drama involved in high school too, but Middle school drama is so much more immature, like, I guess it's because the age and the students and the boys and girls at that age are, like, immature at the time, while in, like, high school, I guess they're more mature about the drama and that. What do tap dancing pants have to do with girls surviving middle school? Well, my tap dancing pants is actually a joke between me and my friends. She had these pants, who, like, which have buttons on the back of the pockets, like, metal buttons, and she went to, like, do something on the wall. Like, she leaned back on the wall, and we heard, like, a click, and then we thought, oh my gosh, that's how, like, those pants were tapping. So, we called them my tap dancing pants. And at that time, I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to write a musical about that, because it sounds like a musical name. And so, that was a birth of the musical, My Tap Dancing Pants. 
why did you write my tap dancing pants? Well, I kind of wrote it, I guess you can say, because it was for a project. So I decided to write a musical, and it's pretty cool. Yeah, my, everyone likes it. Like, they've read parts of it. My friends and I. Well, my friends. And some of my teachers, too. And they really like it, and they hope I can perform it at the high school next year. And I hope I can, too. Yay! But the main reason why I kind of wrote my tap dancing pants is because... I was bored, and it, I was like bored one day, and it was like after we did the tap dancing pants joke thing, and so I really started to like, I thought I could really write a musical, so I tried to write a song at first, and it was crap, but <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's when... I decided I really want to do this musical, and eight months later, it's completed. Yay! I'm not done with writing, or done with the whole musical. I'm typing it up right now, and I'm just, like, done with writing it, like, just like a rough draft, I can guess you can say, and it's awesome. My progress with, like, typing this up, it's pretty good, actually. I'm not even done with Act 1, Part 6, and I'm around, like, 28 pages. I'm around, like, 6,000 words. And I'm around about, like, 30,000 characters with no spaces. And with spaces, it's probably around, like, 35,000. So, that's a lot for just almost done with Act 1, Part 6, which is only scene 6 out of my whole musical. And so I have about like over more than like a hundred pages to type up. It's that that's gonna be a lot. <laughs> and plus, I like kind of add more stuff. I guess you can say while I'm typing up my musical. So it's probably gonna end up more than 150 pages. I'd say maybe like around 170. I'm guessing. <laughs> that's a lot, man. So that's a little bit of info about my tap dancing pants. I'll keep you guys updated. And I have to go right now. So I hope you had a good time watching this video. I hope someday we can watch my tap dancing pants and watch Star Kid put on it. That would be, that would just like make my day. Star Kid putting on my musical. But I can't say that Team Star Kid will put on my musical. Like, I'm not even done, like, typing it up yet. So I probably shouldn't be saying that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And just want to let you guys know, I have a Tumblr. It's, um, yeah, I got a Tumblr now. I mean, like, I've always had one, but I never really used it. And so now I'm starting to go on Tumblr more. It's Hoper of Far Flung Hopes .tumblr .com. I'll show it like it will be in my in the link down below of the descript in the description. So um I hope you guys can check me out on Tumblr or Twitter and that'll be really cool. And so um I gotta go. Bye.